Hi. Danny Designs here, D squared. Thank you for watching. Uh, this portion of the video is showing after I have um, put together the, the tracks with the angle iron, welded those together. Well, I had to pick everything up and move it back to its location back on my property. So we, we loaded it up on, sorry about the sun, we loaded it up on the, um, the, the, the truck, the trailer, and brought it back here to um, unload it. You know, and I and I had already put the uh, the footers, the concrete footers. I came back and leveled those out, put the footers down, and uh, had that level uh, area for the sawmill to sit on. So this is what this video is showing: us bringing it back here, using the backhoe to lift it off the uh, uh, the trailer and. And you know all that good stuff. Also, the uh, um, bringing the sawmill part back here, also sitting that down, strapping it down, all that good stuff. Uh, unloading it, putting it all on the uh, on the platform there. So that's what basically this video is showing: is just moving it from one location to the other after we had uh, put together the, the tracking and stuff. So again, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Thanks. what we did we laid it down here then we decided the wide blocks that were there we replaced with these eight inches instead of these I think the 12 inches uh, blocks 12 by 16 blocks so we put the 12 by 16s on the end we put replaced the eight inch wide blocks right here just so that when you're pushing the sawmill down the side uh, right through here it won't be sticking out as far um, so that's what we did with that. Got it sitting in here. Now we're going up to get the uh, um, going up to get the uh, sawmill part of it. And get the sawmill put on there. Set it down on top, right there. Um, make sure it runs smooth. And then probably take a long break. Uh, to, uh, then we got to start putting the other stuff on top of the sawmill, putting all that fine-tuning stuff. Uh, great day here in Oklahoma. All right. Well, we didn't get live footage of moving the mill from inside the barn. We moved it to this edge. Got the bucket of the backhoe up here really close. Put onto those straps. Lifted it up in the air. Backed it out. 
and then we backed this trailer underneath it and then just sat it down. Uh, try real hard to get some live footage of unloading it and putting it on the tracks when we get back there. Um, just kind of get caught up in the moment and forget to do it sometimes, but that's what happens. Okay, later. Driving the uh, back road, back down to the sawmill area. So we loaded the sawmill on. Now I'm going to back this in here. They're going to pull the truck. Um, up here, right beside the back row. And then we're going to put the straps onto the back row. And uh, like we loaded it. And uh, should be able to just kind of go straight in. Just, uh, Saw me right on top of that. So, backing this up right here. We're going to pull this. We're going to pull this um, truck. See him coming right there. Then I'll hand the camera over to my, probably my mom and hopefully we can get some live action here. Of there it is. It's sitting, I got it strapped down to that trailer right there. Um, should be able to strap, put the strap straight onto this backhoe blade like we got. And uh, already straps are already on the back of the sawmill part. And we'll hook that thing up, see what we can do. Okay, so I'm not sure. Okay, he's letting mom out, so.
think we missed, even though we had the camera supposedly going, I think we missed uh, lifting it off with the backhoe, lifted it off, everything went so smooth, and we sat it down right here, mom and dad's going to go to the house, it's getting hot out here, heat index is supposed to be like 105 out here today, so there they go with the trailer, that's stinking handy right there, and uh, they helped me download that thing. Like I said, it's always great to have extra pair of hands and they, they know what's going on. That looks a little crooked right now, but that's only because I don't have it leveled. When I get the pulley system and the crank system and all that stuff on there, that levels it up. It just looks crooked now because it is. But the track and all that stuff is on there and looking good. And, and let's have to move this thing around right here. Look at that. That's just awesome. That is awesome. I got the wheel stops back here on the end so it didn't roll off. Got that right there. This thing is just, just awesome. I just don't know a better word for it. A lot of work into it. Still got to put the other stuff on there. I'm going to back up here and try to set this so that I can go over there and you can see me. Okay, I'm going to give that a try. Thank you. 